So as Octane Sunomori is looking down at the pool of milk, she pulls out her dominator and points out at the creator of this ridiculous competition <laughs> <laughs> with the psychopaths reaching over 200. The dominator goes into execution mode and she fires. After she fires, we suddenly get Nishi, we get we get Mai reading her book. We get Mai reading her book, looking over and just smirking. Switch. She laughs at this large pool of milk, questioning how did they get so many cows? Who milked all these cows? Ridiculous pool of milk. She thinks that she reads her book silently to herself. Though she is still competing, as there is a very worthy prize. Nobody knows it. It's very secret. She knows it'll be something worth diving into milk for. Switch. Such a mysterious pie of course caught the interest of Masao Minkita, who of course dragged his best friend Mikado into it. Mikido stared down into the milk bowl, wondering why or why does he always let Masamoni talk him into these crazy things. Meanwhile, the third party of the group army is wondering whether or not she is someone who should really be in a situation like this. She questions constantly why she hangs out with the friends that she does, being someone who honestly shouldn't have friends. But as a parasite, she, thinks, she believes that perhaps sticking to them will be just fine, though the milk is questionable. Switch. Tsunemori, looking over the crowd with her dominator, sees that the, the psychopath is completely clouded and that everybody seems to be somewhat insane. Realizing that the system needs to change, she decides to turn from the simple system to the Nishijo system, where, where you know, or Yuko, my friend, is also awaiting to challenge the competition. Being a joke to herself, she looks over this pot of milk and, just, and declares, "This pool is of utter insanity," and nobody laughs, thus setting in her depression. <laughs> This causes her to get an insatiable craving for milk, knowing that she cannot drink in front of all these adoring fans. She go, she finds the door to the back room, unlocking it with a small hairpin and sneaking inside to find the largest straw she possibly can to suck the milk out. Switch. Along her path, she crosses the she causes the irritated monster Ikebukuro Shizuo, who is trying to light the next cigarette, but unfortunately, the people of the competition will not allow him. This is a theory in his rage, as he's forced to be stuck in a useless competition that he doesn't know why he's in. All he knows is that there's a pool of milk that's, that's in his opinion, a waste of good milk for someone who was raised on it to help keep his bone strength strong to sustain the monster shape he was born with. Meanwhile, he gets the smell in the air that sets him off irritated. Switch. What irritates him is his longtime enemy, Isaiah. With Isaiah nearby, he wants to throw all the street signs through all the walls. As he throws the street signs everywhere, Yuko, with her new system, the Nijido system, deems that it is okay because it follows the lines of sanity in this world that is created for the milk competition. <laughs> Switch. Now with the large questionable pool of milk, Mai also wonders, where are these street signs coming from? They are in a building. <laughs> 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 starts her slow walk towards the high dive. Slightly afraid of heights, she makes sure to bring her extra pair, her extra swimsuit add-on, to ensure that she will have a safe dive into the milk. A street sign all hits her though on her way up, cutting all cutting off half of her hair.
Slightly frightened by this, she becomes more nervous as she approaches the high dive. You, you go, still in the back, searching for the largest straw she can. Switch. As my climbs higher and higher up on the high dive, her nerves increasing with each and every step, suddenly she's becoming thicker at the very top, giving her, giving her what could really be considered a sly box smile as Izia, who was hiding away from Chizu. He smiles, he smirks charmingly at her as he beckons her father and father onto the diving board, ready to make her grand debut into the contest. Unknowingly what he's actually about to do, Izia gets behind her, raises his hand, and pushes her into the water. Switch. As she falls, she notices that the milk content is significantly less. It is standing <laughs> by the pool of milk is Kogami with a barrel full of oats. <laughs> <laughs> As he looks down at the pool, <laughs> he looks down at the pool with his barrel full of hyper oats, which absorb the milk at such a rapid pace that it's draining the pool of milk. With a with a with a look of serenity. On Kogami's face, Sunomori is just shocked by all that is going on. Switch. Over the intercom, you can hear today's bizarre and wacky milk diving contest brought to you by Hyper Oats. Hyper Oats! <laughs> Everybody cheers and applause for the sponsor that has made this wacky event so possible. As my slowly falls toward the milky pool, she takes she puts on her add-on a bear helmet. <laughs> As she falls, she looks back towards the high dive, where her sabotages slip stand, watching her fall, mouthing to them, "Sometimes I'm a bear, and other times I'm a bear." Switch. <laughs> Watching, watching my fall upon her descent is a brief moment of smug satisfaction before leaping off the dive board to avoid a sudden, a sudden flying street sign for one very angry Shizu. Shizu has completely forgotten about the competition as he chased after India outside the building. <laughs> Meanwhile, oh, Mikado has watched the entire scene with a look of absolute horror in his face, wondering why once again does he let Kira talk him into these things? Switch. Give a good ending. With all the craziness in mind still falling, what suddenly occurs can only be seen as a miracle. A German suplex is suddenly performed in mid-air because Mai happened to see a picture of a doujinshi featuring the president of their school, which is drawn by Mio. Drawn by me. So as the German suplex takes place in mid-air, Mai falls unconscious and the crowd just gawks at all the insanity. Okay, is, is that it? Brought to you by Hyperos. Hyperos! <laughs> <laughs>